Hello there, welcome to Get Data Solution. Today we'll see about risk matrix. In particular, we'll see risk matrix for project 5x5 five five, where the impact levels are actually 5 and the likelihood of occurrence will also be 5. In earlier videos, we have seen version 1 where we have 4x3 the impact levels are 4 and the likelihood are actually 3 and we have also seen version 2 where the likelihood are actually 4 and the impact level are also 4 uh, if you haven't seen those uh, videos please uh, see all those version 1 and version 2 coming to today's topic which is version 3 which is the risk matrix for project management 5x5. Five five. We have here uh, the terms for today's analysis. The impact levels are actually 5 here, and the likelihood are also 5. Let's look in detail. So the impact levels are categorized as insignificant if, it is, if there is little or no effect, then minor. It, if, if effects are felt but not critical, moderate, moderate impact to the course of action and outcomes, major, serious impact to course of action and outcomes, and catastrophic if could result in disasters. Those are the impact levels uh, definition of terms. In terms of the probability and the likelihood uh, we have a very likely likely pro possible unlikely and very unlikely situations the uh, very likely is the probability of occurrence will be high and very unlikely is the probability of occurrence will be low so those are the factors we use then we have here the different options from low indicated in green and low to medium uh, in light green and a medium here in the middle and medium to high and high conditions so uh, we have defined here the project is in good progress if the values are greater than 75 and the project will will be moderately good if greater than 50 percent of values and if the project below uh, values are greater than 25 below moderate and if it is less than 25 is rejected if it is 25 to 50 in that case is moderate below moderate and moderate 50 to 75 and above that it will be uh, in good progress so that is the, how the values are actually generated <coughs> <And coughs> So we'll have um, we have to select from drop down menu here and then we'll select the possible option based on our knowledge on impact level and the likelihood of occurrence. So then we will get here the values and the decision will be here at the moment we have four low cases here uh, seven mid low to medium cases this one and six medium cases this one uh, and medium to high cases this color and high cases with this color we have totally 79 and the decision made based on these 
is in good progress so if you actually change some of the values we may have actually different values at different decisions let's change this for example from medium to high this also from to high let's make this high and this can you see here the decision has actually changed the project is moderately good in at this point so we have so we have uh, medium to high case six and high case uh, five here the rating is 74 the decision is the project is moderately good so this decision will be passed if it is less than 75 to 50 ranges if you change uh, one of them for example it will actually <coughs> change again let's make it can you see here so uh, the decision will automatically changes the main thing is we have to fill this table based on our knowledge of the impact level, the real impact level and the real uh, likelihood of occurrence. Then we'll get a perfect decision for our project whether we have to uh, go with the project or reject the project. So there will be actually four possibilities. The project is in good progress. The project is moderately good. The project is below acceptable level and there will be a decision for rejection. So the decision will be displayed here will be four levels based on, based on uh, our input in this uh, table. So as you can see here on the top, here is the, if it is greater than 75, the project is in good progress. Then if it is in between 50 and 75, the project will be moderately good. Then if it is between 25 to 50, the project below moderate and the project will be rejected if it is below 25%. That will be the uh, decision so uh, this will help the project managers and individuals uh, who are going to track the risk into their business it will guide them for uh, to make informed decision which is one of the purpose of uh, this channel so having said this let's come to the purpose of uh, this channel get data solution the major purpose of this channel is to modernize data system to save time to generate automatic report to reduce costs to increase productivity to manage project to manage business and to learn new skills uh, here are the reason why you should actually um, subscribe to this channel because you will get uh, uh, help to manage your business and you will use you can use our uh, template to manage your business that is the one of the reason why you should subscribe the other is it will help you to manage your project using different templates it will help you to manage your work if you are actually engaged in any work it will uh, help you to automate your activity with a single click uh, uh, for example to get um, quarterly report or monthly report could be in your business or in your project scenario it will uh, increase your productivity since you will use templates that will automate your activity that means it will increase your productivity to help you to learn new skills in a few instances and 
and it will actually help you to make informed decision based on your data and pattern that will uh, help you so that those are the reason why you should subscribe if you are actually due to this channel please consider subscribing and also share our uh, videos to your colleagues so that everyone can use it to manage uh, the project as, as well as business cases so uh, i hope you have actually um, seen some of the advantage of this uh, risk mattering in terms of our claims here it will actually increase your productivity because you will actually simply uh, select and select and just with a single click and then the report will be automatic it will actually automate your activity and make you inform a decision so that is it and we have actually videos on the similar topic on risk matrix for version one here four by three and version two four by four if you haven't watched those videos please go and see also those videos and i hope you have actually enjoyed this video and thank you very much for coming to our channels and bye bye for today